Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming in in this episode. We are going to go after a Rhino and Atha. Uh, it's been on the to-do list for a long time, and I think this is a good time for us to uh, to go see if we can grab one. Uh, so I was just about ready to do a, a wild dino wipe uh, because I can no longer find gigas or uh, car, carch, car cars, carch cars, carches, carchaconta de dorsaurus. <laughs> I know it's terrible. I should uh, I should make an effort to learn how to say that. I think it's car cardontosaurus. Car cardontosaurus. Let's we'll, we'll just call them car cars for short. Okay, car car. Yeah, that's it. Uh, anyway, um, and um, but I I thought what I would do is just fly around uh, the swamp first one last time, and I actually found a level seventy female uh, right about in this area here. Not super high, but um, you know I've I've killed probably at least a half a dozen rhino nathas on the map and none of them have been very high levels so that's that's the highest level one that i can remember uh ever seeing so um why don't we go ahead and nab that at least for our first one and we'll we'll see how it goes um what i have heard both from uh some of you guys in the comments and um from you know watching a couple other youtubers is that the best way to, to do the rhino is is to actually knock it out take its health down to you know 10 percent a little less and then just, you know, guard it until it wakes up and then, you know, and then let it impregnate your dino. So we're going to go ahead and try that method. Um, before we get started with that, though, I do want to, uh, I, I do want to make an announcement. I am going to be gone this, uh, this week. This will probably be the last episode I'll get out before I have to leave. I have to go to Seattle, Washington for a few days for a funeral. Um, and then when, I, then I'll get come back from that i'll be home for another week and then i'm going to be gone again for another week on a business trip so just wanted to give everybody heads up uh you're going to see the video slow down i'm not going to have time to pre-record uh any videos so there will be a lull uh in the second and fourth weeks of january uh, but of course when i return from those trips i will resume so i just want to let you all know that okay so nothing else really significant has happened since the last episode i've just been you know doing the usual breeding and stuff. I got all the dinos up there. I did. I have been gathering metal, um, so we have 11,000 metal in there, and another uh, 6,900 and more to come in there. Uh, because very soon we're going to work on building our our trophy room. Uh, I have a building episode here, and I just want to make sure I have you know enough materials to do that. Uh, I'm going to make the trophy room out of glass and metal. I got a kind of a general idea for how I want it to go, but it'll like most things, uh, be, we'll make it up as we go along kind of thing. Um, 
And I've, I've decided not to install additional mods in this series. Uh, I want to keep this series as close to vanilla as possible. Uh, plus, you know, we're really far along and I just don't want to take the risk of installing a mod and breaking something either. But we're just going to use the vanilla, um, you know, assets to, you know, to build this, uh, th this uh, upper floor here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am using three mods. I'm using uh, Utilities Plus, Stacking Mod, and oh yeah, uh, Super Spyglass um, mod. Though I'm not actually using that. I'm just using the the Binox that you can make from Utilities Plus. But I had it installed, you know, originally, and I just I haven't haven't taken it off. Um, so yeah, I just you know I want to keep this playthrough close to vanilla, not exactly vanilla of course but close to it so we're just not going to really install any mods for the rest of this this particular series when we move to the center and or scorched earth i'm probably going to relax some of those restrictions and use some more mods and maybe use cryopods a little more freely uh, but for this series uh, on the island i want to keep it like i said uh, mostly vanilla ish okay um so i know that we need um a whole bunch of stuff and i have a list uh, up on a, my other monitor of of what we're going to need for the rhino but my understanding is their torpor does not drop really fast so i think what we do is we we get that level 70 knocked out um and then you know get it protected and then we can come back and grab all the stuff and and ride we're going to use a giga a giga to tame it too uh, out to it so that's the plan um, all right, so I think we have everything we need. I've got 57 shocking trank darts on our 449 percent damage long neck, so it's a pretty potent rifle, and um, I don't think it'll take too long to knock out a 70. In fact, let's take a look and see what Dota Dex says about that. Hmm. It doesn't seem to have any information about how long it'll take to knock it out because I I don't think that's the tr the traditional way or the way the devs expect us to to tame it. But I know you can knock them out because I've seen other YouTubers do it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, all right. We've got um, gateways and spike walls and all that kind of stuff in here. I've got, I just killed a really low level male Rhino Nathia right before I started the, the recording. So we got that in there. Um, you know what we ought to probably do though is I've got two older pheromones since this one's fresh, um, let's grab the older one instead. <clears throat> well, you know what? Actually, we don't even need it on us at all right now. We'll just wait until we take the Giga out. I just hope I don't forget forget it. Mm, you know what? I might forget it. <laughs> let's uh, let's grab this one here. Yeah, it's still good for two more days. Uh, that way we have it with us, and just in case, like I said, I forget to do it. Okay, so. Let's head on out this way. Um, my plan is just to, you know, just to, to knock it out, shoot it and knock it out. I don't know. I'm, hmm, I'm wondering if I should be on a dino that I can shoot from the back, from its back. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we take a Thylo with us out there? I mean, I know I could use my jetpack, but I don't know if I want to get into aerial combat with a Rhino Onatha. I'm not sure how well that would work. Might not go well for me. Um, we'll take the bird though too. So you, um, yeah, you just stay there, and let's just go grab one of our thylos here. We'll take Marcy because Marcy needs more levels. Oh wow, you got a lot of stuff on you from killing things. You got ten thousand health, so we're just gonna level your melee. Let me get this stuff put away here. Okay. I'm going to put you on um, follow distance four, just so you're not right up in our business. And let's head on over to the area where I saw the uh, level 70. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so this is the vicinity that I saw it in. Just right kind of over in this area here. Um, if we could 
We could pull it kind of up onto that plateau there rather than down in the swamp. That would be ideal. There it is right there. Okay, cool. All right, make sure you are on passive. We should probably deal with this um, alpha here. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this Therizino as well. Okay. Don't see anything else aggressive in the area at the moment. Okay, yeah, there it is over there. It's after a trike. Okay, put you back on passive. And I don't know how many shots it's going to take to bring this thing down. Um, let's make sure it's the same one. Yeah, it's a level 70 female. Okay. Alright, we hit it once. Seahawk, you need to get out of the way. Oh shit! We knocked it out with two hits! He doesn't like that stuff. Doesn't do any damage though. Wow! Okay. That was easy. <laughs> shit! Um, I can't move though. I guess we have to wait for this sap thingamadoodle to wear off. Can I get off myself? Yeah, I can. Damn! Okay. Um... So, okay, I guess I'm going to have to use this. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like its torpor is going to go down quick at all. All right. Let's have my guys go over that way. Um I'm going to clear um some stuff out of the way and then we're going to have to damage this until we get it down to 10%. And if I hit it a couple times while I'm doing this, well, that'll help accomplish that. Okay, we got that out of the way. I have never tamed one of these, by the way. I've, Like I said, I've watched it uh, be done on YouTube, but I haven't done it myself. So this is my first time taming a radio. Okay, I got that done. Now let's um let's grab these and maybe these spikes as well <clears throat> and we're just gonna enclose it inside of a gate situation. I was told not to not to keep it trapped. When it wakes up, though, this is just to protect it until we wake it up ourselves. Of course, I don't know how well that's going to protect it, but we'll try it. We'll give it a try. I guess what we could do is also put, um, and probably should do, is put some spikes around it, too. All right, now, the next thing we need to do is we need to damage it. Um, I don't know how delicate these things are, so let's see what one of the one pike does to it. 172. 
Okay. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. We'll go six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Um, okay, so ten percent of of twenty five eighty three would be two hundred and fifty eight. So let's hit it one more time. And one more time. And then that's it. Okay, so it's below 10%. Um, all right, so right now, I guess the thing is, is we just wait for it to, uh, you know, for its torpor to wear off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the base and get a giga and come out here uh, and, you know, get all the, the stuff that it wants. It wants a whole bunch of crap, including gasoline, which is just really weird, but whatever. Um, and when the, uh, when the bug is about ready to stand up, I'll bring you guys back at that point and we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we have the, the last journey of GG the Giganotosaurus. We're going to go ahead and use a GG for this because she's my highest level Giga. And as far as stats go, I've, I've got um, bred Gigas with equal to or better stats than she has now. So we're just making our way back over to the spot where the Rhino is down. I have most of the stuff that it might want. The things that I don't have are a Quetzal egg, um, which I was kind of surprised because I thought I had a couple of those from our Quetzal. I don't have a, um, a Golden Hesperornis egg. Oh, wow. That's a nice pick. I got off of one of that raptor, I guess. Alpha raptor. Um, and I don't have a, a car, car car egg. I think those are the only three things that I don't have. I got everything else. So hopefully it won't ask for for those things. Is that dimorph coming after us? Nope, guess not. Stamina is so bad on these gigas. <laughs> oh well. Probably after we do the um after we tame this rhino, I'm probably gonna do a wild dino wipe, because I still have not found another spino. I haven't looked in every single possible location. But yeah, and I haven't found a car car either. Not a single one on this entire playthrough. Um, I've, you know, I've probably, we've probably come across at least a half dozen gigas, wild gigas. Um, but no car, car cars, so. It's time, time for us to do a wild wipe. What's going on over there? All right, I think let's go this way to get up on the plateau. I think we can get up there from over here. Okay, we are here. Got a dillo or two to clear out of the way, but we don't want to bite too close to the rhino. Ah oh, shoot, it's got a long <laughs> it's got a long time to go. Seriously? Little bastard. Uh okay, yeah, this is gonna be a while yet. Goodness gracious. 
Um, okay. So, let me think about this. We could... I'm definitely going to leave the Giga here. Um, we could go do something else real quick for a while and come back. It's just that I don't know the exact, what the exact timer is going to be on this. Um, I estimate that we've been gone. I should have timed it, but I didn't think about it. That we've been gone for about 20 minutes, maybe, since we were here last. And, um, can I see it through here? No. Here, let's do this. Okay, so so I'm I'm guesstimating that it's gonna be down in probably thirty to forty minutes, or, or ready to stand up in about thirty to forty minutes. So what I'm gonna do is set my timer for thirty minutes, just to be on the safe side. And we're also going to use a teleporter to get this thing back uh, to the base so we don't have to leave the baby out here. Devil fuckers. These things are way tougher than they should be, man. It's gonna knock me out. Here, let's take some of this. Okay. Yeah, so uh, what we'll do is we'll set the teleporter down. I just borrowed the one that we have had up on the on the on the tree platform. And that way, like I said, when we're done uh, taming this thing, we can just teleport it back. Having tech is amazing. So cool. And it also means we can get back here right away, too. Um, okay, let's name this uh, Rhino. Cool. Okay, well, um, I think what we'll do then is... I don't think there's anything at all in the wild that will attack a Giga, except for another Giga, or maybe a car car. car. Not sure. Um, but let's move him back a little ways away from the... Um, uh, from the bug. And I am going to put him on neutral... Or her, rather, on neutrals, and we'll track her in case she does run off somewhere. So that way, if something does attack her, she can defend herself. All right. And, um... Yeah, I just don't... I don't need any of that shit. Get out of here. So I think what we'll do is let's head back to the base, and I want to take um, I want to take my, my thylos out to the northeast cave, and yeah, you know. We could pick all this back up. Well, no, I'm not going to because then I won't be able to get back out here quickly. Yeah, okay. So um, let's go ahead and teleport back to the base. We'll just we'll take the thylos out to the Carnal Island on our quets. Um, or we'll... Maybe we'll ride them out there. Yeah. 
And we're just, uh, my plan is just to leave them there um, inside the cave. And we'll just use them to run the cave, you know, when we need Artifact of the Devourer. Which we do need because I'm completely out of that particular artifact. I want to have one each of all the artifacts for our trophy room. Um, and so, yeah, we're definitely missing Devourer. And we might be missing one other one, too, so we'll figure that out. Yeah, I think we're missing Clever. Or not, yeah, Clever. We're missing Clever. Um, because this is Hunter here. Or no, Clever's right here. Okay. So, yeah, we got, we got Pack. Skylord. We're missing Skylord. I actually have a couple Skylords. I think, yeah, I have two Skylords in a chest out at the cave. I just need to take an otter out there to get it. Um, but that's kind of going in the opposite direction that we want to go right now, so. Um, you know what, though? Why don't we take the otter with us anyways? And I want to make sure, because I screwed up on my other otter, that it's not listening to whistles, or it's ignoring whistles. Okay, so. Um, what did I do with... What did I do with Seahawk? Did I fly her over here? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and ride. Uh, we'll just ride the Thylos out there and have fun because they're, they're one of my favorite dinos to, to just, you know, run around on this game. They're so fun to use, you know. And I, I have more Thylos in Cryo, so these aren't the only ones we have. But I figure... I don't know if I'll run both of them in the cave at the same time, just because it's pretty uh, precarious in there in terms of, you know, falling down the cliff. But we'll have both of them together just so they can keep each other company for role-playing purposes and also in case uh, in the very unlikely event that we did lose one. Uh, we'd have a backup. Anything's possible. Okay. What's your follow distance on? It, uh... Oh, now it doesn't say it. There's probably some button you can press to look at that, but I don't know what it is. Let's put you on three. And Seahawk should still be on four. All right, if we go barreling off this way, does the Thylo follow us? Eh, it's probably trying to find the... The long way around. Um, Bob Cat. You're way the hell over there. Oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, dude. You're a Thylo. You can go anywhere. Is he coming? Oh, for Pete's sake. Here he comes. Nice. All right, let's go. We're going to go up the... Um... Oh, I don't... I, I kind of think of it as Spino Alley. I'm not sure what that actual name of that river is. I guess this is river... A lot, of, a lot of people call this the Central River, but <clears throat> apparently the game doesn't. Or maybe, maybe it does if you're not underwater. No, nope, it just says Wilderness. It doesn't have an actual name. Got an alpha over here. It'd be a little quicker to, to go 
overland, but I want to see if we can find another Spino on the way. I believe both of these Thylos have um, journeyman or apprentice saddles. Whatever the blue one is, I think that's actually apprentice. So they got better than normal saddles anyways. Yeah, didn't get much there. You did get some points though. That was probably the most valuable thing. The AI pathing apparently doesn't take into account the animal's abilities to, like, jump and leap and all that. And in the case of the Baryonyx, the ability to swim. So that kind of sucks. There is a Hesperornis there. I, I've never actually tamed a Hesperornis. I don't, know if, I don't know if I want to go to the trouble to do it just to have a golden egg, which the Rhino and Atha might want. Um, you know, plus the fact that it's only a level 70. It's not a max level anyway. If it was a max level, that might be a different story, but... I just want to get one, you know, try it out. They, um, from my, what I understand, they've... They nerfed them, so when you're trying to carry a critter, uh, they slow way down, which really devalues them a lot, I think. But if you're just flying the Rhino around without carrying anything, I, I think it still goes pretty fast. So that still has value if you want to scout around the map and stuff. My Tapahar is my fastest bird, and it's not as fast as a Rhino is going to be. I have to say, though, compared to the Baryonyx, the pathing of the Thylo is not bad. It does a pretty decent job. Okay. You guys stay here for a second. I just want to take a quick scout and make sure there aren't any alphas in the immediate vicinity. Love the tech suit, man. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty clear. I mean, I'm not even seeing any normal megalodons in the, across this channel. Okay, I think we're good to go across. Nice work, team. Let's see if we can grab this red drop before it despawns. Oh, no, it's gone. Bummer. Alrighty. So you are going to have to stay here. Um, where can I put you where you might be reasonably safe? Up here, probably. Um, no landing? There you go. Okay. Seahawk won't be safe from Argies up here, but probably safe from just about anything else. It's not likely a land critter could get up there, maybe. So, all right, you be safe. I'm keeping you on passive because I don't want you to fly off. Okay, let's take Marcy in first. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we want to use... Um, do we want to use... This. Huzzah. Night vision, baby. What the hell? Oh. Okay, yeah, you might as well follow us in here, at least till the choke point. I don't know if you'll be able to get through it on your own. I think it's, uh... 
Yeah. So what you gotta do is you gotta kind of bounce them through it. It's a real big pain in the ass, man. I've done this a couple of times, so I know it works. It's just a major hassle. There's one little spot that you can get them through. It's just very... Um, very particular. I was trying to see if I could... Maybe if we bust this crystal. It'd probably be better just to use this. We did break some of it. Um. Yeah, let's get this out of here too. Can't get the big, the real big stuff out of the way. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's um, let's see if we can get through on this side. Nope, he just doesn't want to go through there. All right, let's try it on this side again, We since we moved some of the crystal out of the way. There we go. Um, I think. Wait, did we get it? Well, I thought we'd gotten, it, gotten him through or her through. <sighs> All right, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of fucking around with this. I really am. All right, yeah, um... We're just doing this. I am seriously tired of this shit. I have gotten them through here before. You guys, if you've been following the series along, have seen me do it before. But, I mean, yeah, we don't have time to be fucking around with this. We, That timer's going to go off in three minutes. Okay, so just make sure you have meat in your inventory. Ooh. That's kind of sinister looking. Look at that picture. That that could even possibly be a, a screenshot picture. Oh, you know what though? We have to have the helmet on to see the eyes glowing. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of a cool screenshot. At least I think so. Uh, all right. Grab this. Grab the meat off of you. I don't think you have anything else in there that I care about. I could have probably eventually got him in here, but like I said, we're out of time. We got to get back to that rhino. Put the meat back on you. Okay, good. So we got to we got to get back to our base ASAP. Um, and then uh, teleport to um, over back to the Rhino. Okay, guys, uh, this thing should be standing up in about 40 seconds here. Uh, we'll wait till it's down to about 10 seconds, and then we'll feed the pheromone to our Giga. And it should impregnate it, and then after that we just have to um feed the cravings to the baby and hopefully it doesn't ask for quetzal eggs a golden hesper arnis egg or a car car egg as long as it doesn't ask for those three things we should be able to keep it well and a bunch of the same thing too i don't know uh, we should be able to keep it in business here okay there we go 10 seconds here we go Now, I don't I don't know if I need to stay on 
the dino or not. Um, but we will. Are you gonna impregnate us? Its health is definitely below 10%. Oh, I think it already has, because we have that that larva thing. I thought it was supposed to fly away after that, though. There it goes. Oh, right. Okay, now, now we got a new icon. Okay. Um, incubation time remaining 47 minutes. Okay, we'll have a craving in 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, really? It takes that long, huh? Okay. Um, well, I guess we wait some more then. I'll, um, I'll bring you guys back when it has its first craving and hopefully we have what it wants. Are you going to come back and attack us again? It doesn't have much health. Yeah, let's just get rid of it because I don't want it messing with us now that we're, we got the process going here. Oh, did I piss you off too? Well, you shouldn't have gotten mad. It was the wrong thing to do. All right, guys, should want its first craving here in about three seconds. And Golden Hesper Orange said, can you believe that? <laughs> the one fucking thing I don't have. Oh, my goodness. Ah. All right. Well, that is some shit luck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe that. I got... <laughs> really? Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess it comes out the way it comes out. We're not going to be able to improve it at all because I think it stays... It'll stay on the Hesperornis egg until we give it one. Um, unbelievable, man. That is just uh, the, the worst luck, you know? Oh, we can't even ride it now. Can I get it? Can I get into its inventory? Nope. It's completely unavailable to us. Oh my goodness. Come on, game. Really? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, it is what it is. Can't do a damn thing about it. Um, all right, well, I'll bring you guys back when um you know when it pops out and we get what we get. That's we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this again. You know, in fact, I could, I could cryo this because I think that stops the whole process, and then we save the dino for another attempt. But I think, I mean, won't it at least come out as seventy or some, you know, some combination of its parent stat and the giga stat? Not that this giga has very good stats, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I mean, it's not, you know, Gigi's not going to be hard to replace. So let's just play it out and see, you know, see what happens. So I'll see you guys back here in about 38 minutes. That is just disappointing. It's all get out. So as it turns out, I am able to ride this. There was something else going on there uh, with me not being able to interact with it. So I figured, well, what the hell? Let's just put, pick up the teleporter and all that. And just walk it back to the base, and that way we can just hatch the uh, the baby bug right in the yard. So that is what we're doing. All right, I'll see you guys uh, when we get over there and the baby's ready to pop out. All right, guys. We are 10 seconds out from our uh, dino. There he goes. Or she, rather. Okay. Uh, it's a level 14. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah, only 1,200 health. Stamina, melee. Di yeah, this is lame. This is really bad. <laughs> it's just because we couldn't, we couldn't do anything to uh, improve it. 
Ah, shit. Okay. Well, um, it's thirty percent mature already, just right out of out of the chute there. Uh, I guess we can feed it either meat or berries, but I get the feeling like we're gonna have to do this again, um, and hopefully have some better luck next time. Cause level fourteen, that's just, I don't know, man. How much stamina does this thing have? Three hundred sixty-seven stamina. Uh, it might be okay for flying around, but we're not going to be able to use it really probably for anything else. Ah, that's that's just disappointing. And, you know, th this took quite a while. Um, you know, a few hours for me. Not not for you guys, of course, because I cut most of it out. But I just feel like I just wasted my fucking time, man. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, let's, let's let it grow up and we'll just see how it you know how it is maybe maybe it won't be as bad as i'm thinking and uh but if it is you know we'll we'll have to try again uh next time around and hopefully the rng will be a little kinder to us so I'll give it the meat and yeah all right well shoot man i see i don't get that because the uh, the wild rhino was 70 and the giga was like 107 so why is it only 14 hmm i don't know i cuz I, I thought it would if we didn't do anything it would at least be some combination of the two parents but apparently that is not the way that it works so yeah that sucks all right well anyway we'll um we'll see what how it does you know when it grows up if i can you know, if I can get around on it, uh, you know, without running out of stamina too quickly, then we it might be useful. But if I feel like it isn't, then we'll have to um, we'll have to go after a better one, and uh, hopefully get some better luck with it next time too. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. Um, I have started uh, doing some building on the trophy room, but I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing yet until I kind of figure out how it, you know, I want it to come together. Uh, so we'll probably tentatively do that in the next episode. Uh, I want to just remind you guys again that I won't likely be able to get another episode out until I return uh, from my trip, uh, which will be at the end of this week. Um, so there will be a few days with no new videos, but when I get back, we will resume and continue on having fun here in Ark Survival Ascendance. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.